I'm super excited for this makeup tutorial where you're gonna be seeing two in one basically from day glam to night glam so this is a quick before and after before we start our makeup transformation I always start with the instant light spray makeup base to hydrate her skin and make it ready for our makeup application Next is foundation and I'm using the Divine Matte Liquid Foundation with my foundation brush in number 20. I'm going to spread the foundation all over her skin now. Uh, this foundation is a medium to full coverage foundation so I always try as much as I can to build the intensity as I am working. So start with a very small amount and if you feel that you need a little bit more coverage you can always add for a more intense coverage. Next is highlight and I'm using the concealer in number one with my concealer brush and I'm starting from her under eye area. This is a full coverage concealer so a very small amount would do. I'm also adding a little bit on her chin and also the center of her forehead. And then with my blending sponge I'm gonna puff out all the edges of this concealer so that I make sure there's no harsh lines on her skin. After that it's time to contour and I'm using also the Divine Matte Liquid Foundation this time in a darker shade and this one is a number 40 to add to the areas that I want to add more shadow to like the roots of her hair and also her cheekbones to emphasize more on her bone structure. It's very important to always layer your contour one step at a time so that you're always in control of how the product is moving on her skin. And after that I'm going to puff it out with my foundation brush again to make sure that there are no harsh lines on my contour or even my highlights. Now skin is ready and it's time to set everything using my filter effectless powder in number 0.1 to make sure that everything will set in place with my powder puff. And I knock off any extra powder that I feel that is not needed on her skin. It's now time to add more color on her skin and I'm using the face palette in number 222 to add more color onto her cheeks using the blusher and a little bit of highlight also to emphasize more on a glowy skin. And I'm also gonna add a little bit on her neck and shoulders so that it reflects also the glow that I added onto her body. I'm gonna start now with her eyebrows and I'm just brushing them with the Anastasia eyebrow gel to emphasize more on keeping her eyebrows super natural. This is more of a light makeup application on the eyes, emphasized more on her skin. I'm gonna add a little bit of my concealer onto her eyelids to make them sticky and I'm using now the face palette in number 222 to add more dimension onto her eyes. So this whole makeup transformation is only by using the Samar Khuzami Cosmetics and I'm gonna use the bronzer as my eyeshadow for this look. Mm -hmm. 
I'm only puffing out all her eyelid with this bronzer so that I really saturate or dim her uh, eye area. I'm gonna do the same thing with the bronzer from this face palette also underneath her eyes to puff out all the edges and keep the eye very 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 soft. And now adding the highlighter in the center of her eye. Mascara is very important in this look. And now I'm keeping the lips very natural and after that I just retouch a little bit with my face palette to add more glow into her skin, keep it healthy and glowy. Here's a quick before and after of this natural, if we can say, makeup look before we do some major change. And here's the glow or the nighttime, if you want to say, makeup look. And here's how we're going to do all the changes. So I'm going to start adding a creamy eyeshadow onto her lids. blend it out all the way into her crease so I'm changing the look from let's say a daytime into a nighttime makeup and then I'm gonna start layering my eyeshadow I'm using Inglot eyeshadow I'm going to puff out all the edges of this eyeshadow as well and I make sure that I blend the crease very well and now I'm adding a more reddish shimmer color into the crease and I'm doing the same thing from the lower part of her eye puffing out the same creamy eyeshadow that I used on the top and then making sure that I puff it out and remove all the harsh lines and the edges and then connecting the upper and the lower lid together. I'm gonna add black now eyeliner from Inglot into the waterline and puff it out also with a black eyeshadow on the lower lash line as well. I'm gonna make the eyebrows a little bit more structured this time so that it really emphasizes more on how dramatic this look is. And definitely lashes are very important to give this extra um, strong effect gonna keep the lips very natural and then retouch a little bit more with my face palette just to give her the more glow here's a quick before and after from day to night or from bear to the night glam so guys I really hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial from daytime to nighttime makeup application and I definitely see you in the next one <laughs>